Magandang araw mga bata! Welcome to Teacher Marla's channel kung saan maraming matututunan sa lesson na ating pag-aaralan. Good day children! Welcome again to our Science 6 subject. Are you ready as we explore the world of science for another year? Well, I think you are now ready. So today, we are going to discuss mixtures and their characteristics as homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. Okay, mga bata. So ano nga ba kapag sinabi nating mixture? What is a mixture? So when we say mixture, it is a combination of two or more substances in which each substance retain its individual chemical properties. So everyday children, most matter occurs as mixtures. It is difficult to keep any substances pure. Okay, now children, let us take a look at the different examples of mixtures. So number one, we have pizza, sodas. We also have uh, coins or money. We also have here a cup of coffee and as well as our clothes and the LPG tank that we use in cooking. So these are all examples of mixtures. And you know what, children? Mixture can take many forms. It can be in any combination of solids, liquids, and gases. Okay, children, so let us first discuss what is mixtures of solid. For you to be able to understand the solid mixtures, here are some of the examples. Number one, we have medicines. Number two, we have biscuits. Number three, money or coins. And number four, we have clothes. So a while ago, we described mixture as a combination of two or more substances in which its substance retain its individual chemical properties. And biscuits is one of the example of solid mixtures. And we define solid as firm and stable in shape. So biscuit is a solid mixture. It is firm and stable in shape. It is usually made from flour, salt, butter, and many more that makes it become mixture of solid. Okay, now children, let us proceed with the mixtures of liquid. So, in this mixture, we define liquid as a substance that flows freely. So, our examples are the following. Number one, we have juice, coffee, liquid condiments, and a soda. So, why do you think all of this is considered as liquid mixtures? It's because just like the biscuits are examples for solid mixture, this mixture is also composed of different ingredients. Like, for example, in here we have coffee. So, you cannot have a cup of coffee with just hot water. You will be needing coffee powder as well as sugar and a creamer. So, to enjoy a cup of coffee and the same goes with the other example. It has a lot of substances being put together such as soda and juices and many more. That is why all of this mixture is considered as a liquid mixtures. Okay, now children, let us proceed with the mixtures of gases. Gas is a state of matter that has no fixed shape and no fixed volume. Gases have lower density than other states of matter mentioned before. Now, our examples is balloons, helium, oxygen, and an LPG gas. But how can we say that all of this is an example of mixtures of gases? As you can see, balloons will not float without helium. And helium is a kind of gas that makes the balloons float in the air. And by just putting helium in the balloons, it is already considered as mixture. Always remember, children, that a combination of two or more substances in which each substance retains its individual chemical properties is called mixtures. And the same goes with the other examples. Alright children, 
you already know what are the different forms that a mixture can take. It can be in solid, liquid, and gas. So let us always remember that mixtures are very common in our everyday lives. They are the air we breathe, the food and the drink we consume, and the fabrics we wear. Okay, now children, let us proceed with the types of mixtures. There are two major types of mixture. So number one, we have heterogeneous, and number two, we have homogeneous. So in heterogeneous, it means different, while in homogeneous, it means the same. Heterogeneous mixture, you can see the different parts or faces of the mixtures easily, while in homogeneous mixtures, you cannot see the different parts or faces of the mixtures easily. So let us take a look at the different examples of heterogeneous mixtures. Number one, we have mixed nuts. Two, fruit salad in a bowl and a pizza. So as you can see, there are different parts or pieces of the mixtures that can be easily identified in this example. So like for example, we have here a pizza. So we are able to see the different uh, ingredients like pepperoni, mushroom, pizza dough, as well as the other ingredients on top of a pizza. That's why these examples of a mixtures can be identified as heterogeneous mixtures. Now, let us see some of the other examples of heterogeneous mixtures. We have here beach sand and air with clouds. As you can see kids, this example is not man-made mixtures. Unlike with the examples that you see a while ago, these mixtures are what we call naturally combined mixtures and they are part of the heterogeneous mixtures because we are able to see the different parts or pieces of the mixtures. To deepen our knowledge with this example, let us study why beach sand is considered as a heterogeneous mixture. Beach sand is classified as heterogeneous mixtures. If you look closely to the sand, you will notice that sand has different colors and it includes different kinds of shells. That's why it is considered as heterogeneous mixtures. Now, how about the air with clouds? Air with clouds can be classified also as heterogeneous mixture because it contains tiny droplets of liquid water. So beach sand and air with clouds are examples of naturally combined mixtures and can be classified as heterogeneous mixture. Okay, so let us always remember children that heterogeneous mixture does not have uniform composition or you can see the different parts Pieces of the mixtures easily. Now, children, you already know what is a heterogeneous mixture. Let us proceed with homogeneous mixture. Okay, children, so now let us take a look with the different examples of homogeneous mixtures. Number one, we have coffee, biscuits, balloons, soda, as well as the iron bars. So when we say homogeneous mixtures, it can be in the form of solid or in liquid. And when we say homogeneous mixtures, we cannot see the different parts or faces of the mixtures easily. Just like the following examples. We cannot see the sugar and coffee powder in a cup of coffee. We also cannot see the, the flour and oil as well as the butter in the biscuits. And the same goes with the other examples. So now, let us take a look at the other examples of homogeneous mixtures. So we have here vinegar and corn oil. So we cannot see the different ingredients that the vinegar and corn oil have. It's because this product is already undergo with the process. Like for example, in making of vinegar before it became a vinegar, these undergo through the process of fermentation for us to be able to have a vinegar. And in the finished product, we are not able to identify where the different ingredients go. So 
That's how a homogeneous mixture works. We cannot see the different parts or faces of the mixtures and only one face is being seen. Again, children, let us always remember when we say homogeneous mixture, only one face is seen or visible. Or you cannot see the different parts or faces of the mixtures easily. Now that you already know what is a mixture as well as its major types, let us review what you have learned today. Mixtures is a combination of two or more substances in which each substance retains its individual chemical properties. Mixture can be with in any form such as solids, liquids, and gases. Mixtures are very common in our everyday lives. They are the air we breathe, the food and the drink we consume, and the fabrics we wear. Heterogeneous mixtures means different, and you can see the different parts or faces of the mixtures easily, while the homogeneous mixtures means the same. You cannot see the different parts or faces of the mixtures easily. And that's the end of our discussion for today. Thank you for watching. I am Sir Mar and please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe our YouTube channel and don't forget also to click the bell button to keep updated to our next lesson.